Right, tonight doctors are sounding the alarm on a warning about breast implants. A connection between textured implants and cancer prompted a woman in Virginia Beach to go back under the knife and have hers removed. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton shares her story and digs deeper into the FDA's warning. In a world driven by appearance, sure. women want to look and feel their best. The profile they give me, just, you know, the fact that I can, you know, fill out a top. Four years ago, Abigail Melton decided she wanted a breast augmentation. She decided to go with textured implants. When they were first presented to me at my pre-op appointment, uh, they had a very low risk rate of capsular contraction, which is hardening of the uh, tissues in the healing process. But recently, shocking research from the FDA says those textured implants have a small risk of developing a cancer known as BIA-ALCL. It's slow moving and it's curable, but only if the implants are removed. Like, what was your first reaction? I said, oh, okay. One more thing to worry about. That one thing, too much to handle for Abigail. And nothing to eat or drink after midnight. She decided to go back under the knife and take the implants out. We're going to just sign it again today saying, yes, that's what we're doing. The FDA says the exact number of cases of BIA ALCL remains difficult to determine because of limitations in the reporting of breast implant sales data. Experts believe it ranges between 1 in 3,000 women to 1 in 30,000, according to the FDA. Nine people died from the cancer. Now that we've seen that the texturized process is associated with the ALCL, they're going to be taken, they're going to be taken off the market at some point. Now in Europe and in Canada, most of the texturized implants within the last six months have been taken off the market, and I'm sure the United States will follow suit. Dr. Richard Rosenblum says the majority of women who got textured implants over the years had breast reconstruction surgery. He hasn't performed a textured implant surgery since 2016. The numbers were there, and even though they were small, it was one in 30,000 women could develop this BIA ALCL. It was one that we didn't want to be a part of. While the risk is small for developing the cancer, Dr. Rosenblum says there's still a chance. Women with textured implants should see their doctor right away if they have breast pain, a misshaped implant, or notice a mass. I always say if it's one in 30,000, if you're the one, it's 100% for you. As for Abigail, she's glad she doesn't have to worry about a cancer risk because of her implants. You know, just given maybe 10 more years time, I could potentially develop or show signs for having this ALCL cancer. Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. Right now, the FDA is not banning textured breast implants because it says there isn't enough evidence to warrant a ban, but dozens of other countries already have cracked down.